Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning code igniter for framework tutorial. This is our part number four. And inside this video session, guys, we'll discuss about that is how can we load few files in our controller. Now, if I back to editor, in the last video we had discussed that how can we create our controller as well as how can we configure our routes. Now if I back to folder structure of controllers, now here inside this in the last video we have created this controller called sitecontroller.php as well as first.php. As per the naming convention, we can follow any type of name something like this site with the controller keyword or simply the controller itself. Now let's say that inside this sitecontroller.php, instead of writing this static message, we want to load some few files. So in the older versions of CodeIgniter, if suppose you have used, then you have seen that we have used something this load view and inside this we need to pass our view file path. But now this is CodeIgniter 4 which is totally different from its older version. Here this is the concept which is deprecated or I mean to say not available. Now let's see that how can we load our view file. So inside this video, we will discuss that how can we load a single view file as well as how can we load multiple view files. So let's say that we are going to make this like a view file for this simple method. So what I will do and one more thing that inside this code igniter 4 also we don't have any folder hierarchy to create our user defined view files. Either we can create at the root of views folder or even if we want to create some folders also we can create that. So I recommend that if suppose you are going to create the view files of these methods of this site controller. So first of all, you need to make a folder with the controller name inside views folder. Let me explain you step by step. Now first of all, we need to make a view file for this simple method. So we have two options. Either we need to go inside this views folder, the default it has provided a view file at the root but let's say that I recommend inside this views folder needs to create a folder with the controller name and the controller name we have called site. So it should be site. Inside this folder the method actually where we are working called simple. So inside this folder I will create a file called simple.php. So instead printing a static message here what I will do if I cut this message, let's say that h2 and here I will print that static message. Now next, how can we call that? So simply we need to call by the help of this view function. Inside this view function, we need to pass our file name as the parameter or its argument value. So inside this view, which indicates all about this views folder means if we pass any file name directly here it will go and search that view file inside this views directory but let's say that when we pass any directory path inside this case we need to go inside this site controller and we have the file called simple.php so inside this case it will go inside views folder site folder and then it will find all about simple.php. Now if you save this change, go to browser, let's say index.php and here we have the route called simple. Now as you can see that this is the message what we have rendered from our view file. So this is how we are loading a single view file for this simple method. Now let's go ahead and create another view file for this about us. So if I cut this content from here and let's say that return view function inside this we need to go inside this folder called our site and we have a folder sorry a file with the name called about us.php. 
So after passing file name here, it will go inside views folder, search SAT directory what we have specified here and inside this folder, it will look the file called aboutus.php. So first of all, we need to create that file. So we need to go our controllers folder that is site and inside this, I will create a file called aboutus.php and inside this, if I write the content, save this change, go to browser and let's say that this time, I will call about us and this is our about us content. Now let's say that instead of this, a single line static comment or static message, we have let's say a h1 tag. This is for the header and let's say that this is for the footer. Save this content, go and reload this page. So we have a header, we have our body content and a footer. Keep in mind here, we have three different lines or let's say three different types of layout because the header layout is totally different from our body content. Body content is totally different from header and footer and footer is also totally different from header content as well as our body content. So what we will do inside this case. Now here, as we know that this will be the header layout footer layout so we will separate with the help of a partial files or let's say another view files. So we need to go inside this views folder. Let's create another folder with the name of includes and inside this includes folder we will create this header.php as well as footer.php file for our header content and the footer content. So let's create a file called header.php inside this file I will go and cut this content pasting it here and create another file with the name of let's say footer.php go here cut this content and pasting it here now okay actually we have separated the tabs inside VS code now here inside this about us there is no header and no footer. If we go and reload this page, now as we can see, we have now our body content. So let's see that how can we include this header.php as well as footer.php inside this about us page. Means we are going to see that how can we load multiple view files. So inside this about us, we can say like echo view about us simply let's say view we need to go inside includes folder we need to include header.php and finally we need to go echo let's say view we need to go inside includes folder and we need to include footer.php file so save this change go and reload this page and here we have some error that is in case of footer this is the wrong spelling what we have done here so go and reload this page so we have a header footer and the body content so here we understood that how can we load multiple view files so is there is this single way to load the view files inside this about us method no we have another alternative options available either we can load all the partial view files directly inside this method or if I make comment of this line comment of this line again go and reload this page we have our body content only so go inside about us.php page and we can include directly that hidden footer file inside this view file so let's say echo view we need to go inside includes folder and we need to include header.php copy the same piece of code go and write it here and this time we need to include footer.php file now if we save this change go and reload this page now as we can see that we are getting the same output what we have executed so the output will be same either we can include all the files inside this method of this controller 
or separately we can include all these files inside means view template directly so inside this video session guys we understood about that is how can we use and load a single view file as well as we understood about that is how can we load multiple view files so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day